Hi world, it's Chatty Daddy One coming at you tonight. Um, a few things I wanted to talk about. Um, we have a drug problem here in the United States with uh, pharmaceutical medication, and the DEA is making it worse. Um, I have a good friend that's a physician's assistant and works in a pain management clinic, and. A friend who also is a pain management patient, my uh, brother-in-law, he suffers with um, chronic pain and stuff, and I've had it on some very good sources that from, because of the push coming from the DEA and the insurance companies, they have pretty much phased out Oxycontin, Oxycodone. And their instructions are anybody who was taking oxycodone, have them switched to Opana or Opana ER. Now, Opana is oxymorphone. It is one step away from pharmaceutical heroin. Tell me where it makes sense to take somebody who's Oxycontin and put them on Opana ER. Opana has 10 times the rate of abuse, 10 times more addictive, and they don't have the same kind of uh, makeup as the, um, the, the new medication that Oxycontin has in it. Plus the, uh, and I mean, y'all, it, it's like they are trying to turn people to heroin. Because I've also done some study on this before I, I did this. I did some checking. And what I'm hearing from people is that they're going on this Opana, and it's so strong, and it's so potential for abuse is just unreal but they are abusing it because it's just a step underneath heroin okay diamorphine is heroin and oxymorphone is right underneath diamorphone or diamorphine so tell me where that makes sense that you're going to get these people that have been taking oxycodone, that they're doing well, handling their medicine pretty good, and switch them to something that is way more potent, way more addictive, way more abused, way more with the potential to be abused. It just doesn't make sense to me, and I don't know their motive behind it, but I know it's not a good one. They caused the problem. I agree that they needed to shut down the pill mills that were, um, you know, illegitimate and giving people medicine and not taking insurance, just getting cash, you know. Those places needed to go by the wayside. They really did. They were pumping out drug addicts. So they shut them down. Well, they've got them closed now. They're, you know, they're closed now. But, um, People are having to switch to other things. And it just seems like I'm hearing that a lot of them are jumping on the heroin bandwagon because it's easy to get a hold of and it's readily available. So, and then I guess those that don't, that they don't catch in this whole thing with shutting down all the pill mills and stuff and restricting to doctors they'll get them with this opana unless that person has really really good willpower and sticks to what their doctor tells them and takes their medicine like they should and doesn't take an extra one here or extra one there because it ain't like it ain't like from what I hear it ain't like the oxymorphone it ain't like the uh, 
oxycodone. Oxycodone's a Percocet. I mean, come on. The dentist gives you that after he pulls your tooth. But he don't give you hydromorphone or oxymorphone. Hydromorphone is Dilaudid. Oxymorphone. He doesn't give you that. No way. No friggin' way would he give you that. But I'm hearing that do doctors are quick to write a prescription for Opana or Opana ER. But they will not write oxycodone anymore. Or they're having a hard time, some of them, writing it. But, uh, <clears throat> it's just crazy. I don't understand it. I think they're trying to turn all these people that are dependent on this medicine, that are dependent on it for to have a more quality of life, to deal with their chronic pain issues. I think they're trying to make them turn into junkies. I mean, there's those who've been taking the stuff for 20 years to manage their pain. And now all of a sudden they've got to go to something that's right next to heroin? Come on. That ain't right. I mean, maybe you go to Dilaudid or something. You don't go to oxymorphone. No. It's crazy. That's insanity. That's asking for trouble. And trouble's what's going to get. I don't think this is going to end up in, to be a good situation. I've already seen that reports that Opana is taking over for OxyContin on the streets. And that the highest milligram tablet costs $80 a pop. So, you know, go figure. I don't know what they're doing, but I do know that the doctors are forced into this situation. And they're being told to do this, or they will get shut down by the DEA. They can either prescribe this to their patients, or stop prescribing at all. And these doctors have patients that are in very bad shape with very serious injuries and very serious disease. So, you know, they want to keep helping them. So they just pray that this person's not going to flip out when they get the Opana, and it's not going to cause them to, you know, abuse it or do something stupid with it. But, you know, somebody takes one of these pills at a pharma party, they're dead. Dead. It ain't like somebody taking a, a friggin' Percocet at a pharma party and then puking some. Somebody takes one of these and they're dead. It's it's serious stuff. It ain't nothing to mess around with. I've, I've read up a bit on it since I've heard about this. And since my brother-in-law was telling me about this, they've evidently made this switch about two months back where he goes. So, But anyway, there's another little nugget of news to uh, throw out there at you and uh, I'll dig up a story and I'll put the link down there to it below anyway this is chatty daddy one telling everybody have a good night and God bless and good luck over and out